Guys, the amount of new Disney Afternoon merch that has come out recently has been so good for my soul. And so bad for my wallet. Hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen Going on all things Disney From miles to parks and in between Come share the magic with me La 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 Live your life to a Disney tune Come and share Jake's Disney Afternoon Hey Disney Afternoon Gang, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jake. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. And if you're new, I do all kinds of Disney content, including subscription boxes, hauls, trips, vintage trivia, lounge fly bags and pins. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure. Bag after bag after pin after pin after bag after pin. So much Disney Afternoon merch is coming to light. And, you know, I couldn't be happier because I remember when I first started this channel, I was like, oh, I think I'm going to be relegated to, like, everything in the past as far as Disney Afternoon goes. Is that going to be a thing? And now all of this new merch is coming out. I can barely keep up with it. Today, I have got an exclusive lounge fly and a pin that matches. <sighs> This has been sitting around for a while, so I've been dying to get into it. So let's waste no more time. This came out, I don't know, maybe a month ago. I can't quite remember. Um, and of course, I had to buy it because I missed the Darkwing duck bag, um, which is now out of control money on the interwebs. And I'll have to come back around to get that one. So I didn't want to miss out on this one because obviously you knew I was going to buy it anyway. Um, all right, so you know, at first I was a little, I won't say annoyed, but you know, I prefer, well, I prefer this kind of a bag, like the sort of character cosplay e bag rather than like the printed bags. Um, but this one's really, really nice. So, let's take a look. Ah. So this is the Gummy Bears Lounge Fly that just came out. You know, if they had gone with, like, the more cosplay style, they would have had to, like, pick one character. And it was such an ensemble show that I guess I am glad they went with the print. What I really like about this is it's... You probably can't see, but, yeah, a little bit. See, it's, like, textured. It almost feels like canvas, like like it was painted, you know? Um, so what do we got on here? We've got all of the characters. We've got Granny and Summy and Sunny and Cubby and Tummy. We've got the Book of Spells. We've got the Medallion. We've got Gummy Berry Juice. We've got Gruffy. Oh, there's Gruffy right there. There's a better picture of Gruffy. Um... I know I'm supposed to be like, the placement of the things is great. I have no idea. I can see all the characters. They're all kind of here. We've got a full body Grammy and a Sunny and a Gruffy and a Tummy and sort of a semi zummy there. Um, this has that thick pocket that I like on the front because I actually think that's the most useful of the pockets. Like I could fit my cell phone in there, um, certainly, or a wallet. Um, love the dangle. This is like that rubber printed element. Um, all right, let's see what we got on the back. Oh, and I love green. There's not a lot of things in green. You know, green is always the villain's color, right? They say that, um, green is the least marketable color. Well, you could fool me. So we've got the brown leather straps. We've got the, um, uh, sort of the patch design of the gummy berry juice, which is so great. I really, really like this bag. I, 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 I was, I had my doubts. I'll be honest. I had my doubts, but yeah, this is a nice bag. Let's take a look at the lining. So it's got some gold hardware. Um, it's almost like it's not rose gold and it's not, I think it's mute. It feels muted because of the brown, but it's like a richer kind of a gold. Um, all right, let's see what we got on the inside. Gummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. All right, let me take out some of the stuffing. Ugh. Okay. What do we got? Well, 
you know, the outside's pretty, that's for sure. All right, so there's the inside. It is just red. I don't love the red, but that's okay. And it's just got the gummy berry uh, juice bottles in excess. They kind of went overboard with that theme. Just checking to see if there's... Uh, yeah, there is a there is like a just an interior flap pocket. You know, it's not like a zipper, but it's a which I like that you can separate things for keys. Um, does have this little, little side pocket, but all in all, I am really happy for this bag. The colors are great. This feels like the cartoon to me. This feels like the right thing. So good job, Loungefly. I'm very proud of you. Um, you did a nice job on that. All right, the other thing that they released along with that get it here is uh, the pin so i'm loving these like giant what's the there's a new one they just released did they just release another robin hood pin i feel like there's another giant robin hood robin hood is getting all of the love lately i don't understand i mean you know i love robin hood so like i'm here for it but like guys i gotta catch up with something so like you know slow down go make a Toy Story something or whatever, because you know I won't buy that. All right, so this is a limited edition of 600. Uh, let me show you the box. So good. It's like, a, is it a spinner? Spinning enamel pin. So let's take it out. Here we go. Let's get a little closer look. Look at the colors on that. So what is the... Oh, they spin... Oh, so the in... I mean, it's a little weird because you kind of got to like roll your, it's like a, it's like a toy from the eighties when they didn't understand mechanics and things. But so the whole thing spins, you've got all of our main characters. Sunny's a little bit buried there, but um, yeah, that's really cool. It's a pretty thick pin. It's got a double pin back on the back side. Let me just take a look. You know, do you remember that Oliver and Company pin that I got in this same series? It was like the taxi and then it like had the light up button. The light up button, all of that is so thick, you actually can't put it on the bulletin board. Like the, the pin pricks aren't long enough beyond the thickness of the pin. Stupid, made me so angry. Okay, this one's fine though. You can see that the pin pricks are high enough. Um, again, super thick pin. so good oh i love that so much all right so that's gonna go my gummy bear section is right there so i'm gonna add this to the board immediately <sighs> just taking me back just taking me back it's 1980 again and we're loving the cartoons we're having a good time Ugh, couldn't be happier let's take one last look at the bag before we're off because it's really a great bag. Go out and get this bag. It is worth the money. Um, if you're a Gummy Bears fan, and if you're not, you know where the unsubscribe button is. Um, oh, so good. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Comment down below, are you a Gummy Bears fan? Have you gotten this bag yet? Um, or have you gotten the pin yet? Let me know. If you're new, consider joining. I do all kinds of this sort of thing, uh, so you don't want to miss out. Hit that button. You know where it is. And I look forward to seeing you soon on the next Disney afternoon.